How's it everybody? Here's a really nice example of a distinction essay for Afrikaans. I must admit this is not my essay, this was actually given to me by my tutor. Imagine, your tutor's tutor, way back when, I won't mention her name, you know, protection of personal information and all that, the whole Popey Act. But yeah, let's get into it. Om moeilike tijde te oorleef, to survive hard times. So, daar was a tijd in my leven, toe ek gevoel, het asof alles om my uit mekaar val. So there was a time in my life when I felt like everything around me was falling apart. Nice little punch. Remember, this is not going to be as sophisticated, as mature as your home language essay. This is ultimately Afrikaans FAL. Ek het gesikkel met druk, onzekerheid, en die gevoel dat ek nie goed genoeg is nie. I struggled with pressure, insecurity, and the feeling that I wasn't good enough. Elke dag was a strijd om op te staan en aan te hou, glo, dat dinge beter sal word. Ek het probeer glim, maar binnenin, my was daar net moog het. So, every day, it was a struggle to get up and keep believing that things would get better. I, I tried to smile, but inside I was just tired. So, we're laying a really hectic uh, foundation now in the depths of despair. Biki depressi. Biki angst, but it, uh, maybe some level of depression, but of anxiety. Dit was eers toe ek leer om eerlik met myself te wees dat ek begin het om te genees. So it wasn't until I learned to be honest with myself that I began to heal. My swaghede te erken, so really stunning stompie here, um, acknowledging my weaknesses, was nie a teken van mislukking nie, maar van groei. Um, it wasn't a sign of failure, but it was a sign of growth. So we're setting a very interesting foundation here, okay? So like what's to come? We've realized that, yeah, things haven't been going all that well. We haven't been making the best moves. We are in the depths of despair right now. What's our play? What's our comeback? I get beseft that moeilike tye nie het my gedil toets nie, maar my karakter vorm. So I realized that hard times uh, not only test my patience, but also build character. So look, if you are liking the look of this essay, by all means, go for it, take it. You will probably get an A for it if you apply it correctly. If not, yeah, they'll probably see that you just kind of copied an essay. Look for something in the picture, you know, like my road to personal growth, like a success story, overcoming obstacles, something like that. Die mense om my het my ondersteen, selfs wanneer ek dit nie verdien nie. Ek het my herinner dat ek nie is alleen nie, en dat daar altyd lig achter selfs die donkerste wolk le. So the people around me supported me even when I didn't deserve it, and they reminded me that I wasn't alone, and that there's always light behind the darkest cloud. Look, I'm trying my best to directly translate it, but yeah, it doesn't always work like that, Afrikaans to English. Om ek het begin om klein oorwinnings raak te sien, om net aan te hou probeer, was al klaar genoeg. Met elke dag het ek sterke geword. So every day we're getting stronger here. Nie omdat dinge makkeliker geraak het nie, maar omdat ek harder begin glo het. So I began to see all these small victories and it meant that just um, trying was enough. And with each day, uh, I became stronger, uh, not because things got easier, but because I started to believe harder. No, kyk ek terug en besef dat swaar kry my nie gebreek het nie. Dit het my gebou, so it built me. Okay, my, all my hardships didn't break me down, it built me up. Ek verstaan vandag dat pijn nie net vernietig nie, maar ook vorm. So I understand today that uh, pain not only destroys you, but it also shapes. So it, it, it doesn't destroy, it, it can also shape. Ek dra steeds, so I'm, I'm still carrying littekens, maar hulle is nie symbole van verlies nie, eerde herinneringe van oorwinning. Moeilike tye te oorleef, so again, just the link back to our title here, is om jouself weer te leer, ken en weer te kies om aan te hou leef. Just want to put a little full stop there. So, I still carry scars, but they're not symbols of loss, but rather memories of victory. Uh, surviving difficult times is about getting to know yourself again and choosing to keep living again. So look, ultimately in an essay like this, it is more reflective above all else. A uh, reflective opstel. Reflection is also weerkaatsing, um, but not in this context. Context is very important. And remember, you need a solid stompy. You need a decent vocab as well. Some nice woordeskat. Okay, please don't overuse your intensive forma. Please don't have like three similes and five metaphors and 20 oxymorons or oxymorons in your essay. Little bits and pieces, right, if need be. Sometimes you don't even need to mention it. 
But if I keep seeing fear, varam, port blow, gras groen, oh my god, I will throw myself off the third floor of that marking venue. As a belief, please don't do it. But yeah, this is what a nice little essay looks like. The essay topic was Moi Likatea, so we, we referenced it here in the conclusion in the body as well. But yeah, nice little essay. It's very clean, it's very neat, it's nothing drastic. And remember, the, there's no l really like an X factor that is needed, I believe, for an Afrikaans FAL essay. It is first additional language. You just need good language, good structure, good vocab, do it in the recommended time, legible handwriting, and boom, you should get your 40 out of 50. Home language, though, that's a different case, different scenario. You need like a big oomph. You need something there. But yeah, if you just stick to your guns, yeah, you, you should be fine. So yeah, hope you enjoy the video. Bye.